I got another recording back to back. They run, they, all, all they hear is the sound of crunching, gushing, and screaming. Why is this happening? I just couldn't think of anything I could do to help. I'd just get in the way. There's nothing I could do. Nothing. Now I'm going to die alone. I thought I was ready. All the limpers. They're filled with self-hatred and guilt. After a particularly loud gush, the, the husky's screaming stops. And then a moment of silence. Yum. They even faces through the bleachers. No, go away, please. It lunges at all, slicing them up with its teeth and claws. The demon slowly tears them apart from apart limb from limb, presumably the way it did with Sparky. There must be some something here that can be used against it. Yeah, there we go. Coward's done. Wait, what? Olive tries to punch the demon. No, don't. Olive paws go goes right through the demon. Demon takes the hus husky down and lunges at all, slicing them up with his teeth and claws. The demon slowly tear tears them apart limb from limb. There must be something here that can be used against it. Ghost of a chance die after getting a fight. Whoa. Did not mean to get that one. I don't know. Wait, so if I eat treat, treats, then... Oh yeah, so that's important, then. I don't care. I don't know, there's so many demons and so many things that can go wrong. Wouldn't you rather just hang out here and eat treats together? Olive. Sparky sighs. I guess I can't fault you for being afraid. Afraid. Stay here, I'll come back f for you when this is all over. Wait, you're going? I have to. Waiting here won't help nobody. If I break the water pipes by the basement, the water might ward off the demons. I, and I want to see... I want you to see what we really, what we, that we really can survive so long as we don't lose hope. So please don't go anywhere, okay? Alrighty, stay safe. The part, Sparky scamper's off. No, I, oh no, I hope you, he'll be okay. Buddy. Oh no! It was too late. You didn't even make it to the pipes. I should've been there. I'm gonna kill everyone. Uh, to the bathroom. Check stalls. I'm gonna make you sad. Oh yeah, so you can do double bad. No, 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 no. Don't help. that I have made a bad route. Boom. So I could now... What could I do? What could I do, actually? Classroom is eerily silent. To the basement. 
Rocky's Keys Body Lady's Life, that's on a pile of other dead dogs. Cafeteria. Oh my bad, bro. Run around. You know, let's go to the library. Let's be friends. The library is totally empty. I mean, I'm of the living. But if I really wanted to, I could just lock myself in here and read free of, free of judgment all day. And all night and all week until I starved and died. I guess I could eat the leather brown books. Hello, puppy. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, sorry to startle you. My name's Patches. I was excited to see one, see one, see someone who was actually alive. Oh, yes, I am alive, and so are you. Wow, we have so much in common. Yes, I suppose we do. So I overheard you, er, overheard you talking about books. You overheard me talking about eating books. Yes, uh, is that what you're here for? Because I have a few recommendations. Nah. Ah, no thanks. I don't really like books. I mean, eating them. The figures. What's your name, by the way? Olive. Nice to meet you, Olive. Yeah. It's pretty gruesome here, huh? It makes me sad seeing everyone like this. So, you know, fun hanging out with dead dogs. I guess so. But on the bright side, you can bark as loud as you want now. True, although being loud isn't really my thing. Aside from barking and, and not eating my books, is there anything you'd like to do when, about your life ends? Um, nah. Read. Well, I mean, reading with you would be nice. I mean, reading in general is nice. I mean, no, no, make them sad. God damn it. Oh well, since there's this apocalypse thing, I'll never experience what I want. I, I'll never. Since it, this is, since this is the only apocalypse I'll ever experience, I want it to be perfect. Misread that completely. It'd be really nice to, you know, hold pause with someone. That's precious. You mean with me? <sighs> no, dummy. With these dead dogs. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. Please, can I hold your paw before I die of embarrassment? Hey, I don't know your life. I suppose we could hold pause though. Wow. Wowee. Patches and off hold, hold paws, and no patches pulls them into a top into a hug. So that me so that so does that mean your life is fulfilled? I guess so. It's really nice. I feel all warm and fuzzy. Fantastic. I could help, but um, since I since I helped you, could you do me a favor? Sure. Was it? It's a surprise. No. I don't know. I don't. It depends on what the favor is. No, I suppose it's not the big big of a deal anyway. Don't tell anyone. But I really love cats. They're so cute, and fluffy when even when they have a bad attitude. Catitude. <laughs> yes, catitude. I saw one wandering near the basement. It's pretty scary out there. So I haven't tried searching for it, but I but I think it would make me very happy to pet a cute little kitty before I died. With someone with me, I might actually make it. Would you care to accompany me? No. Ah, I can't we do something else. The basement. The basement seems scary. It's kind of, it's it's kind of a very good place to die and never be found. So the library and any other part of the school. I mean, you know, you know what? All of you've convinced me. The basement is a bad idea. You can literally do anything else, anywhere else. Yeah. So have fun. Uh, what? Go do your thing literally anywhere else. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings or something. Ah, uh, don't worry, Olive. I'm not the one who's hurt. Just go forth and be happy. I mean, your life's fulfilled, right? Everything means nothing now. I don't know. Just. It just doesn't mean doesn't mean I don't want to hang out with you until the end. I think I think that's sweet, but this is goodbye. So bye. Patches waltzes out of the basement. Oh no, this feeling, this is this guilt. I mean, I'm about to be. I'm gonna be thinking about this for the rest of my life. That's awesome. very cozy in here. Maybe dying alone is... Give me! Give me my key. Library. 
bathroom. Poor brownie. Cafeteria. Mm, am I gonna die in the basement? Ghost cat appears. No. No, I did not mean basement. Open basement door. Awesome, awesome sauce. Enter. Before Olive can take a step downstairs, someone interrupts them. Where did you think you're going, Olive? Patches, where did you come from? I was just keeping an eye on you, making sure you stayed out of trouble. Never thought you'd change your mind and come to the basement after all. Didn't you say you were too afraid? Patches grabs onto Olive's paw. Were you just afraid of me? Uh, no, I just kind of wandered here. I didn't mean to avoid you. Olive tries to pull her paw away, but Patches won't let go. Eh, uh, maybe you should have tried then. Patches throws Olive down the basement stairs. Olive lands in front of the glowing magic circle. Ow. What the? Hey there, Coco. Long time no see. How An How's Angel doing? Wait, how did you know? No way, are you that dog? Damn that, but I told Angel not to talk to you anymore. But I guess he couldn't get enough. He'll kill you like I killed everyone in the school. Hey, now, don't take credit for all of them. Don't act so high and mighty either. It's your fault for being such a buzzkill. Maybe he wouldn't have died if you just mind your own business and let him see me. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Gah. Oh my god, that's brutal. Patches slashes Coco across her eye and blind, blinding her. Ah, oh, no, no, stop. Hey, Coco, no. Wait, Patches? Hey, kitten. That, I don't like saying that. That's weird. You bastard, I... Pat, Patches stabs a nearby pipe. It bursts. A jet of water hits Angel. Ah. No, what are you doing? Shh, Olive. I just really love cats. Actually, I kind of like puppies, too. Run, fight. Ooh la la. I'm gonna fight you. Fudge off. Whoa well, there, watch your language. All of punches patches. It does nothing. Violent and violence, too? I thought you were a good little puppy. You're a psychopath. Words hurt, Olive. Not as much as this, though. Wow. Boring. Well, only an idiot would believe they're strong enough to go up against a knife. Trust me, just run next time. I wouldn't lie, would I? Doctor getting trapped, okay. Run. All scrabbles up the stairs. The basement doors are locked. No, please no. Patches walks calmly towards Olive. He grabs them by their fur and whispers. Thanks for the help, Olive. Yeah. Death. Too bad you, tr you, you tried to run away. Trust me, you should have just fought ne next time. I wouldn't lie, would I? You bastard. I would have died anyway. Dumbass. Mm. How do you even vouch for his innocence? Wait, no, no, no. Did it say something else? Sparky or Patches? Yeah, no, I can't get that. Hmm. Whatever. I'm gonna leave that here, not gonna lie. 